Hey everyone, it's Wylight here with a brief update on my previous tutorial for installing an OGAR private server on Windows. Now it's been brought to my attention that uh, the Windows binary has moved off of the GitHub page. So if you follow the directions in my previous video, it would direct you to this, this page here and it would tell you to download this zip file. Now this zip file is um, it still contains all the source information so if you're an advanced user comfortable with dealing with node.js and websockets this is still fine you can just follow the rest of the directions on this page and you'll be good to go for everyone else who is uh, specifically uh, looking for a very simple way of getting an ogre server running on windows feel free to keep watching because there's some new information they have moved the binary from GitHub to a website called dl.ogarproject.com. It is not the prettiest site out there, but it does exactly what we need to do and nothing else. So you just click here to download the latest build. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Now Google Chrome is going to have a little bit of an issue because it is an executable file, but do not panic. This file is safe, so you don't need to worry. You can just click keep and it will be fine. So now to run it, you're going to hold shift, this is important, hold shift and then right click on the area around the OGAR icon. And you're going to click open command window here. So this black box is going to pop up and I know a lot of people don't like it very much but it's quite straightforward. You're just going to type OGAR and then hit tab and it will automatically complete the file name for you. So run it, you just hit enter. Now it brings up an error, and I did this on purpose because a lot of people had this exact same error and they weren't sure what to do. It says that it cannot bind to the port, which in this case is port 443. And in almost 100% of the cases, the issue is because people still have Skype open. Skype hijacks that port, it doesn't let anyone else use it, so you need to close out of Skype or change it in the settings. Now, because I don't want to go monkeying around with the settings for this video, I'm just going to close out of Skype just to demonstrate. So now that I've run it, after closing Skype, it's perfectly fine. So after this point, just follow the directions for port forwarding in my previous video, and you'll be set to go. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment below. If you enjoyed my video, like, comment, subscribe, whatever. It's, uh, it's up to you guys. Um, I'm White Light. I hope you guys have a great day. Happy modding.